Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So today's video guys is going to be special. It's for a bunch of subscribers who have always supported me and have given me probably the most amount of views when it comes to this channel. Now we've covered from, you know, anywhere around a Galaxy S8 to a OnePlus 3T to maybe a OnePlus 5T to the Galaxy Note 8 iPhones. We've covered almost all the high-end phones we can. But then again, there have been a few bunch of people who have been very supportive very cooperative and they have always loved my videos now the guys that i'm talking about you guys who are using the xiaomi redmi 4a now of lately i have lost a track of what exact development is going on with this device and today when i went ahead and checked xda developers i was pleasantly surprised to see that this device has got a dedicated xda forum with all the threads running left right and center now not only this this particular phone has got stable roms which are custom roms voice over LTE is working and a lot more. So guess what? It is time for new guides. It is time for testing those ROMs and putting them through their paces. Today, we're going to talk about one such ROM, which is Lineage OS 14.1, page of Android 7.1.1 for the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. Hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's begin. All right guys, so right now we are looking at a Redmi 4A which is running MIUI 9 beta and I have installed TWRP on it. So there are three files that are required. First, let me show you the three files. They will be at the bottom. So we need the Lineage OS ROM file, the firmware file and the Google apps. So the link for that will be mentioned in the description. Now, before you do this, make sure you have at least 50% battery. You can see I have 95% battery and back up all your data because you may or may not lose all your information. But in this, in this case, you will lose all the information. So please go ahead and back up everything. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wipe. Advanced wipe. So we're going to wipe everything from Dalvik, system, data and cache. We won't be wiping micro SD or internal storage because that is something that is not required. So let's swipe to wipe. All right. So as you can see, the wipe is complete. Now, the first thing that we need to do is go to install and install the firmware first and click on add more zips, select the ROM as second and add more zips and Google Apps as third. Just swipe so that the installation begins. Now we are installing three different zip files here. So it will take about two to three minutes. So it may take longer or shorter, but then again, it won't be a very, very long time is what I'm trying to say here. So please be patient. And uh, as I said in the first part of the video or the intro of the video well uh, the redmi 4a has started getting a lot of stable roms and that is a very very good thing voice over lt is working the last bug that was left behind was the portable hotspot that has been fixed as well so this video is all about how to go ahead and install it the links for twrp the rom and everything else will be mentioned in the description and if you want to know how to install twrp or how to unlock the bootloader I will leave the link in the description for those videos as well. Meanwhile, the ROM has been flashed. Now as you can see, Google Apps is installing right now. So the firmware and the ROM have been installed already and this is the last zip that will be installed. After this, what we're going to do is we will just wipe cache and Dalvik and then we will reboot into system. So the first boot for Lineage OS 14.1 will take a while, say about five to seven minutes and it's pretty, pretty normal. Now, a lot of Redmi 4 users are first time phone users or first time root or TWRP users. And while, you know, this particular thing is flashed and gets booted up, I would like to clarify a few things. Well, if you unlock the bootloader, it does void your warranty, but then again, there is a way to go back to stock ROM. There is a way to relock your bootloader. And if you do all that and take it to the Xiaomi service center, they would never come to know that you had unlocked your bootloader. 
or at least that would not void your warranty so if you wish to give it a try you know if you are bored of miui and you want to give a custom rom a try for new features or just a new experience i would recommend go ahead and do that because in the playlist for redmi 4a on my channel itself there is a way to unlock the bootloader install a custom rom try different mods like exposed and stuff and there is a way to go back to complete stock and lock your bootloader as well so you're completely covered over there it's just that be safe and be very particular when you do these things because if there is any damage nobody would be held responsible because this is something unofficial and you're doing it at your own risk but then again understand guys that people at xda developers have worked really really hard to get this to you guys so while you have it you know why not go ahead and enjoy it but just make sure you follow the steps in detail okay so the installation is complete we are going to begin the first boot all right looks like we have booted up so it took a while so it may take between 5 to 10 minutes on first boot so please don't panic at all let's go ahead and run through the setup menu quickly setup as new don't use any network continue so this was the install process guys i will quickly show you around the rom we are not going to check in detail because i'm going to use this rom for a week's time and then probably i will review it for you and uh, there are other roms that we're going to have to talk about in the in the coming days so let's use trebuchet launcher okay got it there you go let's go to settings smooth as butter okay let's see if we have sim cards voice over lt is it there or not okay data roaming cdma okay let's see let's try calling 198 it's a helpline number okay so geo and voice over lt is working so that's fine now what i'm doing is basically from where i left off with the redmi 4a i'm just checking all the bugs if they have been squashed um death ring and portable hotspot portable wi-fi hotspot okay so hotspot works as well so these were the two major bugs last time i checked on the redmi 4a Okay, looks like the brightness is on the higher side let's reduce that a bit okay all right looks like you guys can see now so this is basically lineage os 14.1 which is based off android 7.1.2 and uh, the latest build is 30th of december all right so looks like most of the features are working and this is android 7.1.2 for you guys i really encourage you guys to use it and share your feedback once again if you like this video guys do like share and subscribe and don't forget to look at the description box for the redmi 5a giveaway if the channel crosses 4000 subscribers in the month of january i will be giving away a brand new redmi 5a thank you for your time guys goodbye peace